I am a cashier from Saskatoon, Canada. I would like to know the ruling on wiping face after dua. Is it permissible? Some say it's an innovation. Could you please explain? Jazakallah. As far as the ruling on wiping the face after dua, is it permissible or not? There is difference of opinion amongst the scholars. One group of scholars, meaning the humble school of thought and the Salafis, they say that the Sai Hadith, they talk about the Prophet raising the hand in dua, but there's no Sai Hadith which says that the Prophet wiped the face after the dua. They say there are few hadith, but all of them are zaif. Based on that, wiping the face after dua should not be done. And you have various fatwas. You have the fatwa of Sheikh Muhammad Saleh ibn Uthaymin, who says that there are a few hadith which say that you should wipe your face on the face after dua, wipe your hand on the face after dua, but all of them are daif. So therefore, you should not wipe your face after dua. According to Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he too says that the Sai Hadith says that you should raise your hand while dua, and those Hadith that say you should wipe your face with your hand after dua, they aren't enough evidence to say that they are Sahih. So, even Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah says it is not correct to wipe the face with your hand after dua. According to Shaykh Albani also, that the hadith which say that you should wipe your face with the hand, they are daif. And Shaykh al-Iz bin Darul Salam, he says that only an ignorant person will wipe his face after dua. So here we have one group of scholars who have the opinion that the hadith is zaif and therefore you should not wipe your face. And some say only ignorant will do, some say it's a bidah. On the other hand, you have another group of scholars and both the groups, they have stalwarts. You have Hanafi scholars, Shafi scholars, who say that the hadith of wiping the face after dua is a say hadith. According to Imam an nawwi he writes in his book al tahqiq and he gives various arguments that why it is mustahab to wipe your face with your hands after dua. And he gives this reason, and according to him, this hadith is a maqbul hadith. Even Hafiz ibn Hajar Askrani, who is a great scholar, who compiled Bulug al-Maram, he writes in Bulug al-Maram and quotes a hadith, in which the Prophet, after raising his hand, he wiped his face uh, with the hands. And Hafiz ibn Hajar, may Allah have mercy on him, he says that though this hadith by itself may not be maqbul, but along with other collaborative hadith, it becomes Hassan. Hassan is the lowest category of Maqbul Hadith. On the Sahih category, below the Sahih is the Hassan, but it's a Maqbul Hadith. That means it can be given as evidence. And even if you read the fatwa of, of Imam Sanani in, in his Shara, Abul Ghulmaram, Sabul Salan, he writes there that this Hadith is accepted. So you have difference of opinion among the scholars and mashallah on both the sides they are stalwarts, all these are top scholars, they are not, you know, uh, you have on one side uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, uh, Sheikh Udaymin, uh, uh, the, uh, the Albani, Alhamdulillah, on the other side you have uh, Imam al nawi Hafiz Ibn Hajar, and Imam Sanani, great scholars, alhamdulillah. So what you have to realize that here, among the scholars, there are different opinions. And when there is such wide difference, and the thing is very, the difference is very less, and on both the sides of top scholars, I personally agree 
with the view of Sheikh bin Baz. When Sheikh bin Baz, may Allah have mercy on him, was asked this question, that can you wipe your face with your hands after dua? So he gives in his fatwa, in his reply, that among the scholars, there differs opinion whether you can wipe your face after dua with your hands or not. And he says that there, there are scholars who say that it is mustab to wipe your face after the dua with your hands. And the other scholars say that this hadith which talks about wiping the face, it is daif. So he says that if someone wipes his hands over his face after dua, there is no harj. There is no problem. But if you do not do it, it is afzal. So I personally believe that such great scholars, they are differing. So I personally would not call wiping your face with your hands after dua as bidah. I would not say that you are ignorant. I would believe in the fatwa of Sheikh bin Baz that if you wipe after dua your face with your hands, there is no problem. But if you abstain from it, it is absurd. Hope that answers the question.